damn, the fastest man alive just got his ass shot. And his ass just fucking died. So bam, Wally ass gets shot, right? He says somebody shot his ass point blank range. Usually he's fast enough to even fucking run backwards and the shit would go back out of the way that it entered. But this time it was too late. He only had a few seconds to fucking live. So he had to fucking go back to his crib, say, uh, what's up to his fucking family. Then he ran to the cosmic treadmill to try to turn back time. Bam! Motherfucking Garth ass, he having a damn nightmare about when he got shot during Dark Crisis. Raven wake Beast Boy up and basically tell his ass to calm down. Everything was a nightmare. Donna and Nightwing try to go fucking get uh, Tempest ass, right? He said, hell no, nah, I ain't working with y'all. I'm working with somebody that I believe better than y'all. Then they go back to Bloodhaven to the Titans Tower, right? Motherfucking Nightwing say that he had uh, gave both Ra Raven and uh, Garth ass they own fucking room because uh, they he don't know they living arrangements. He said that'd be best. That's when Raven had talked to him inside of his mind, basically letting him know she always gonna be there for him. You ain't gotta worry about shit. And then they kissed. While the whole world was watching, they was like, even Starfire was like, I don't even know what y'all expect from Raven anyway. This pu showing public affection and shit is different for her. So just before they was about to go into the Titans Tower, Oracle hit them up and told them that they got an emergency. A motherfucking monkey was finna fuck up the goddamn uh, nuclear plant. So that's when Beast Boy, he turned into a monster that was from Starfire's planet and start beating that monkey motherfucking ass. I've always wanted to see more fucking beasts from Beast Boy. So I'm happy that we seeing this shit. So while Beast Boy up there fighting that motherfucking monkey, they saving all the people and shit. Uh, Cyborg going down to the middle of the plant to fucking stabilize the plant, right? And then that's when these motherfucking helicopters came while they were saving everybody. It was Peacemaker ass. And this motherfucker came and told the damn army to kill that motherfucking uh, monkey. But then uh, Nightwing was like, hell no. Nah. Hey, Starfire, Donna, handle that. Bouch, bouch, beat the fuck out of that monkey. So after they beat the monkey ass, that's when Peacemaker got to talking shit, talking about some, uh, the president asked if y'all can work with them type of shit. And they was like, hell no, nah, we ain't work with them. And then motherfucking, uh, uh, Peacemaker was like, Nightwing, put a muzzle on your fucking creature, the Beast Boy and shit. That's when uh, Ray was like, excuse me? This motherfucker told them that the, uh, the president want them to work for the, uh, the president. And they told them, we work for the world. We don't work for just one singular person. And that then that's when you basically, they were saying that we from different places. We ain't just finna work for the United States. So if they was in the Civil War, we already know what side they picking. Nightwing said, we ain't like Batman either. We'll tell you what's going on. If we find some shit out, we'll let you know. And then he called up Waller and told her they finna be a problem. So they get back to the tower, right? That's when Nightwing noticed something. He was like, hold on. It was blood on the floor. So they went up in there and Nightwing was like, I know the shoe print. I know the threat. It was Wally and this shit now a crime scene. And all this went down in the new Titans issue one.